Hey, it's the Terminion Hero here, and we're playing some more Scooby-Doo in the Cyber Chase. We are headed on to our fourth world, Prehistoric Jungle, which was level three in the movie. So we've gone from six to two to nine to three. Again, it's weird. And we're going as Scooby. You've landed inside a prehistoric jungle, Scooby. Watch out for dinosaurs and find that phantom virus. Okay, Relma. Right away. Oh my gosh, it's a Triceratops. Awesome. What is that thing? Hey, Scooby. Those dinosaurs may look scary, but a good pie in the face should stop them. Give it a try. Yummy. Pie. I mean, I feel like that wouldn't work in real life, but considering that this is a video game about a video game in a movie, I suppose that logic is fine. Scooby, there are giant dinosaur bones falling from the trees. Don't get hit. Oh no! I didn't miss any of those stones before, did I? Or are they eggs? I assume they're eggs if we're breaking them. Great, we're breaking dinosaur eggs. Did I just hear a part of the Scooby-Doo theme? I thought I heard da 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 da. I don't have the sound up very loud, so, you know, maybe that's been in other songs as well and I just haven't noticed it. I can hear the music, I just can't hear it very well. I gotta be prepared whenever those bones fall. They can really catch me off guard. Like, I had no clue that that one bone was coming. I see that there was one about to fall there, so I see what I'm supposed to look out for now. Okay, this is starting to remind me of, like, Bug Light and, you know, those other dark levels in Crash Bandicoot. Is it supposed to be this dark? Like, what's the one where you had to, like, body slam crates in the dark before going to get your little firefly buddy? I can't remember which level that was. But there was one like that. I really love that pies and butt bounces are able to just destroy big dinosaurs like that. I know we've already talked about this, but... You know, I just gotta point it out again. Just cause it is that amazing. I mean, I'm glad about all these things that are coming out of these dinosaur eggs, but I kinda wish I could get my own little baby tea. I just recently unlocked Baby T on Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled. 
since that Grand Prix is going on. Come on! But, like, since I don't have online for my PS4, like, I have no hope of getting so many of these things during the actual Grand Prix. Anything that costs a lot of money. You made it, pal! You found the box of Scooby Snacks! Hey, save some for me! Scooby Dooby Doo! Roboy! Well, that's one level down. Sort of two more to go if you count the boss. But boss levels are pretty short compared to these other levels, which is typically how boss levels work. The phantom virus is still out there somewhere, Scooby. Keep looking through this jungle, and remember, watch out for dinosaurs. My dinosaurs? Run, roll. Well. <laughs> I'm picking up signs of danger in that marshy water, Scooby. Sorry, pal. No swimming today. Raw. Doggone it. All right, so we got some water and some crocodiles. Did they walk across those in Scooby-Doo in the Cyber Chase, or was that just um, Scooby-Doo on Zombie Island? Also, we have a Plesiosaurus. And I'm very pleased by it. Ow! Well, never mind. That Plesiosaurus is a jerk. Normally, I really love a Plesiosaurus, but maybe not that one. Why did that guy not go underwater? Swampy was feeling merciful today. He did not take his revenge out on me. His nemesis is Frogger, not Scooby-Doo. Ow! I'm on the crocodile, not you, you stupid plesiosaurus. Crocodile, alligator, I don't care. I don't know what it is. And I really don't care. There we go. There is our checkpoint. Stupid Plesiosaurus, he's totally... Okay, we survived. For some reason, this area, like the island there, was giving me flashbacks of the pirate world in uh, Bugs Bunny Lost in Time. It really does look kind of crashish too, though. Like this whole area does, I guess, because it's jungle themed. And because it has the whole straightforward style where we're just going forward the whole time. There's nothing really to explore off to the sides, which is, you know, somewhat reminiscent of Crash in general, but mainly reminiscent of the first game. This game really is a lot like Crash 1. Oh, except now it's like Jack 2, because it's got... A crazy boulder fall. Except, no, it's not as cruel as the one in Jack 2, apparently. That one was much easier. It, I just thought of Jack 2 because the boulders seemed really random. Those dinosaurs look a little too big for your pie attack, Scooby. 
Just move around them real carefully so they don't attack. Attack? <laughs> what, does that mean I have to go slow? Does that mean I have to crawl? I'm gonna run for it. Okay. I guess it just means timing. Awesome, I'm impressed I got that combo. Oh, now it's Road to Nowhere. It seems as if seismic activity has done damage to that bridge. Be careful, Scooby. Some of the planks may be loose. Roll problem! <laughs> Is it Road to Nowhere? If there's a second one we get to, we're gonna call it the High Road. Also, it totally is exactly Road to Nowhere. Except without icy ones to jump off of. My goodness, how am I gonna do this? Okay, we made it through that part at least, but we haven't got to a checkpoint yet. If this was Road to Nowhere though, those planks that aren't even connected there, uh, you wouldn't even be able to stand on those, they'd just fall right away. Okay, I totally tried to jump on that, but it didn't really work. Thankfully, we do have a double jump, so that could be really helpful. I don't know how I missed that. It seemed like I just fell th straight through the platform, but I probably didn't. I think there was a tiny gap that I didn't notice. Again, I'm glad I got a lot of lives. I pulled back because I thought I was going to overshoot it, and I pulled back too far. I probably wouldn't have overshot it. Alright, we made it through Road to Nowhere, and it looks like the level's just over, so there's not gonna be a high road. You know what? I'm gonna make a brief cut in the video, because I want to get that message. It's probably not an important message, in fact, I'm sure that it's not. I was getting ready to answer the message, but it didn't pop up, and then I was like, okay, I guess there's no message, so I just ran to it. And then, of course, it popped up right then. They really make you get close to it before they give you that message, so I'm gonna cut right here back to that point. Alright, I got through that level pretty fast the second time. So here's the message. Great Scoob! Scooby Snacks! Like, here we come! Scooby Dooby Doo! And as I thought, nothing important, but I'm not too upset by that. One, because I'm not surprised. And two, because, like I said, I got through that level really fast. I actually didn't die. I pretty much just sort of speed ran it. I mean, I didn't actually speed run it. Speedrunners would have gotten through faster, probably. You know, assuming that there are people that speed run this game, they would have gotten through it faster. And I'm sure that there are people that speed run it, even if there's probably not that many. Anyways, on to the boss.
Congratulations. You made it past those dinosaurs, but your luck has just run out. I'd like you to meet a friend of mine, T-Rex. Let's see if you can get past him. <laughs> you can do it, Scooby. Just avoid the lava bombs and attacks from the T-Rex. Then wait for your chance and throw a pie at him. Three pies and he's out of there. Okay, so I'm happy that we got a lava area here because we were supposed to be going up a volcano. The T-Rex, I believe, I think he was in the movie. There were a bunch of dinosaurs in the movie. Yeah, the T-Rex was in there. Um, but why? This has been bothering me a little bit. I don't think the virus has made any baseball references yet. And yet, look at this. Velma made one. Okay, whatever. I don't really get it, but okay. Anyways, we just gotta avoid the shadows here. Yeah, that is exactly the T-Rex from the movie. These fights really are not that hard, but I'm not complaining. Speaking of, but I'm not complaining, there was no woolly mammoths in this world. But I'm not complaining. Because the levels were honestly fine as they are. I assume it'd be pretty hard for them to incorporate everything from this level in the game into the actual game that we're playing here, because they spent a lot of time in this level in the movie. Oh my gosh, she can stun me. Oh, he slams his tail down to do that. Okay. Okay, I'd better stay in the air for longer, because apparently you have to wait until the, the ground is done shaking altogether. That's actually pretty tricky. But we're done. T-Rex defeated. See, Scooby? That wasn't so hard. Grab the box of Scooby Snacks and you're on your way home. Scooby Dooby Doo! Alright, so that was Prehistoric Jungle. And I think we forgot to save at the end of the last video, so let's do that now. So, in the next video, we will be moving on to level 5, which is actually level 10. Because, yeah, it's confusing like that. But yeah, the big city which was the, f the first part of the final level in the movie. But it's the third to last level here, so... Yeah, like I said, it's confusing, but this is where we'll be going next time. I'm the Terminian Hero, and I will see you then.